How you doing? I'm Jim Anderson, head wrestling coach, Kent State University. Um, we're coming down the home stretch of our schedule. We're currently 12 and two, or 12 and three, which is a great start to our season. Uh, we're in the midst of our, our Mid American Conference schedule. Um, we're currently three and one. Our only loss against Missouri, who's currently ranked third in the nation. Um, we just had two huge wins away on the road against Ohio University, our, our big rival in Eastern Michigan. Um, prior to that, we wrestled. 3-1 and one in a weekend at the Virginia Duels, which got us a, a silver championship. They kind of put you in pools, and we won. We took second in our pool, got put down in the other pool, and we won that pool. So it was a, it was a great uh, semester break, and now we're back into school and, and in our regular dual meet system. We just got done wrestling Ohio University. Um, they had about 1,500 people there. It was a great crowd, great wrestling atmosphere. Uh, we both had about two or three different upsets. The biggest upset was in pretty much the match of the weekend was when uh, – Kyle Cannell ended up beating Phil Wellington. Phil Wellington has been ranked as low as fifth in the country. Um, he's a three-time second, or he's a MAC champ his freshman year. Um, his next year, he's lost to the national champ from Missouri to take second in our conference. And uh, um, we wrestled him earlier in the year at the Navy tournament. Um, it went to three overtimes with Wellington getting the decision. This time around, it was a tie score in the third period. Um, Kyle got into a situation that he's really, really comfortable. Got him in a bear hug. Flipped into his back and got the pin for us, which got us not only the win, but three extra bonus points. Um, and when you're wrestling in a duel meet that you both plan on winning five matches, those bonus points are eventually what, what wins you the duel. Um, but it actually got Cannell into the national rankings. Um, Kyle Cannell did have a great weekend. He beat another ranked wrestler from Eastern Michigan last week. Um, he's currently ranked 14th in the country now. And I believe he's one of those guys that he's young enough, doesn't, doesn't know he's supposed to lose. He's one of those dangerous kids you wouldn't want to wrestle at the national tournament in March. Um, with that being said, we have Old Dominion this year, or this coming weekend. We already wrestled them at uh, the Virginia Duels in the finals of the Silver Championship. We beat them with, by a score of, I want to say, 13 to 23. Um, but they were missing one of their best wrestlers, and we were missing one of our best wrestlers. So the score could change a little bit. Um, I think ultimately, we're hoping to, to pull out the win, um, try to go 4-1 and one in, our, in, in the conference. And the way that it sets up is we, we very well think that we could end up being 7-1 and one in our conference and the only loss being to Missouri, who's currently ranked third in the country, like I said. And with the MAC being the second best conference, our goal at this point right now is to take second, and that would be a great accomplishment for our program and, and you know also our university taking second in the second toughest conference behind Missouri. So, um, like I said, we're down the stretch. We only have one more road trip. That's where we wrestle Northern Illinois and Northern Iowa, and we have two weekends of home wrestling. So, uh, at this point, we have three weekends left of wrestling until our conference in the, na in the national tournament. Our guys are feeling good. Our guys are excited about the end, and we're looking to continue our winning ways.